Yo! Video games. And it's a good story. It's got to actually... Probably more interesting than Solid Snake's story. Uh, I think there's a little... So some stuff in 3, that story that's a little... Super goofy. Oh, there's goofy shit in all of them, though. Yeah, but like... Like... <sighs> 3 is is definitely after 2, because it's definitely got more Jump to Shark weirdness... Yeah. Than, ...than Solid 1 did, you know? Even though I say Metal Gear 3 is probably the best Metal Gear gameplay-wise, it's not my favorite at all. The first one's still my favorite. Well, Metal Gear Rising is technically my favorite favorite. Uh, I will consciously play Metal Gear Rising again any day of the week over Metal Gear Solid. But I like Metal Gear Solid. It was the first game that made you feel like you were playing a movie. You know, it was... At the time, that's all games were trying to do. Like, so many games are just trying to be like movies. Um, fucking Bruce Willis and Apocalypse. You know, and shit like that. And Metal Gear Solid was the first one to actually do that, so it, it it felt great, because that's all I wanted. I wanted games to be like movies, too. And now, now games are way too much like movies, and people fucking hate it for that. Yeah. Um, which is deserving, because it kind of evolved in a way where you're watching more than playing. Cough of Sir's Wrath. Still love it. Still love it. <laughs> Still love. Well, it. I mean, this this game, this game, Banjo Kazooie right here is like my perfect it's nothing but a video game. of why I am so adamant against movie games, because this has the absolute worst fucking characters and plot in a video game ever. Period. But it's fun to play, and I'm excited just to dig around the worlds and go into places I'm not supposed to go and shit like that. Do game shit. I can see why people like this game. The biggest issue I think with Banjo. Ton of fun to play, probably. I haven't played it yet. Not fun to watch. Well, but it's not a movie style game. It doesn't have that appeal of like a, a lot movie of game games like Metal that Gear. We honestly have played that uh, that are like you kind of find that out like uh, very quickly. Very quickly. Yeah, and to be honest, those games don't get continued playthroughs. Like no. Grandia, is a great example. I love Grandia. Me too. I think it's. I, I, I've always I really wanted to beat that game, and it's like. Oh man, the ending's so good. The, the, ending's, the ending's a little super cheesy, but it's. It's like super cheese. The, like the only time I think you'd find us playing through like an entire RPG um, so far already happened, and it was Nino Kuni that had like fucking sixty-five parts or some shit. We yeah. played the entire game with Jessica, but the reason we did is because it was a fucking it was practically a Miyazaki movie, you know. And Jessica on the side did a lot of the grinding to get the characters uh, leveled up. I'm way ahead of where I need to be. So. Um, yeah, that game kind of worked because it was kind of movie-like, you know, you had a lot of animated cutscenes and the characters were well animated and the world was fucking beautiful and it looked like you were watching a Miyazaki movie the entire game. So that's where it kind of works. Um, yeah, a lot of games, in my opinion, sometimes we play them and realize this kind of game kind of breaks down if you're watching it. Like Shaolin Monks was kind of a thing like that too, where it was like, God, that game's a lot of fun to play, but... You know, it's just the same hoo ha hoo combo, like, all the time. Yeah. A lot of same shit. Same with Dynasty Warriors and Hyrule Warriors and Warriors. Hyrule Warriors, Warriors great example. Something Warrior we do like Warriors. a few episodes on and then kind of stop. Yeah. Hyrule uh, Warrior, Warrior Warriors and shit. Syracuse! Oh wait, thank you so much, man. <laughs> Oh, AO Blue One, I see your message, dude. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, man. Do not worry about donating at all. It, it means a lot that you're even able to watch. We, I ran into the same thing with um, Final Fantasy fucking seven. Yeah, honestly. Well, I, I didn't think it's that, like your favorite game of all it's time. My favorite right? game of all time. This is not that great when it comes to a viewing experience for people, and I could I could play it again very selfishly, but. When it comes to, uh, and it's, I think of like one of my favorite things about that game is the grind. Like I love going around to like random places. Oh, this is the spot that has that beach where these fucking crabs get about mad XP, and uh, that's not that fun to watch. Like I'd actually enjoy just blasting on enemies in that place. Like every single time of the five times I played it, but um, doesn't make for the great for a great video. You know what I mean? Like, oh, that's a that's a big motivating factor. We're like, how entertaining is this for everyone else? You need to do shit to make stuff entertaining, of course. Yeah, yeah, it's up to you to make stuff entertaining. At the same time, it's like, you have a long way to go in this game. Don't worry about it, Hurtbox. Thank you, dude. 
Yes, but phase shift, everything that, every, anything that's a speed run is fun to watch. A, a speed run is totally different, but he's right. F, he says FF7 speed runs are fun to watch. They are. They are genuinely fun to watch. It's fun to see, like, your game you love, like, beaten in, like, six fucking hours or some shit. Hey, man, you, you and some other friends used to always give me shit for beating games too fast. Yeah, you played in, like, a day. <laughs> I beat Kingdom Hearts 1 really fast, and you guys were like giving me shit. You didn't even enjoy it. Like, what the fuck? Yes, I did! No, you didn't enjoy it. You didn't savor it. Yeah, I know. You, it's, like, you, it's like taking yeah, a bite Yeah, you'd be all like fucking weird and elite is like... You get it's it. like taking a bite of a $150 piece of cheese and just swallowing it like a duck. You just savor it. You need to, like, you need to feel it. You need to it. feel how Sora's like, dick oh my God. feels. You need to feel. No, you need to feel. No, I don't need to. That's Riku's job. Crimson Rez, have a great night, man. Oh my god. FF7 PC version looks like it can be beaten in an hour and a half with new glitches, according to Nidoran. That's kind of awesome. That's pretty crazy. That's hilarious, too. Yeah, any speedruns are, are really fun to play. I mean, really fun to watch. That's why speedrunners are very popular on Twitch, you know? Um... Oh, Red 617. I've, I've played Kingdom Hearts. i played Kingdom Hearts. We have some Nightmare Fuel? Jesus. When did Kingdom Hearts 2 come out? some Nightmare Fuel Fuel 2006? Oh, I've seen this guy. Oh, yeah. Big Nightmare. fat fucker. <laughs> I played Kingdom Hearts 2 in 2006? 2007? Four. No, Kingdom Hearts 2 came out after me and Jessica. Pretty sure you played. Pretty sure you played Kingdom Hearts 2 in 2004. Right? Let's check. No, it came out in 2005. Five? Yeah. That's about that's about right. Yeah, me and Jessica played that game together. Oh, that's the Japanese release date. That's when I played it. Well, the Japanese would be after that. Yeah, we didn't get it because I got it in December, like literally, like on Christmas Eve that year. I imported it. Remember we went down to Japan games? Yeah. So the American release was like way the fuck after that, so I didn't get right. Splendofet FF7 slash Banjo. Thank you very much, dude. Uh, yeah, I, I played Kingdom Hearts 2 way back in the day. Played Kingdom Hearts 1 when it came out. Yeah, it was 2006. Holy shit. Oh, I played it in 2005. So I can almost say, uh, yes, I played, yeah, I did play Kingdom Hearts almost 10 years ago. Fuck. I can't believe it took them that long. No more as an incompetent fuck, but... Yeah, me and Jessica have been together for nearly 10 years. March 2006. Okay, that's when it came out in America. Deeding! Yeah, KH2 is way too easy. Like, if we play that game, we have to play it on hard or something. Oh man, yeah, Batman. I do miss Batman. Um, we never did finish Arkham Asylum, just because there's just other, so many fucking games came out. Like we were playing that in October, and then Bayonetta came out, and then Smash came out, and then your mother and everything else. You should get Mike back for Arkham. Yeah, yeah, Mike likes those games. They're fun too. I mean, I was randomly playing them, and I just was able to pick it up pretty quickly. No problem, Lord Desu. My uh, my update videos usually don't have a ton of a lot of new information for Mortal Kombat X, but the whole point of doing them is that a lot of people on my channel um, don't really frequent like crazy fighting game community streams and websites, and they rely on my channel for updates and information regarding those games. So I appreciate it. Oh my God! Twenty bucks from Happy New Year's dudes from John MKL. John, what are you still doing up? Thank you so much, man. It's really nice of you, dude. Yeah, I really love the uh, the Sephiroth fight, like in the first Kingdom Hearts. I think that was a lot of fun. Lance Bass, I think. Was oh, the that's right. Lance Bass was fucking Sephiroth. 
That was the biggest ham piece of cheese in that whole fucking game. <laughs> and they were all like, Jesus. people were so upset at that, and I was just kind of Lance like, Bass is Sephiroth. He did a fine job, he sounded like da 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 He just sounded like this fucking depressed Sin, ass. Sin Harvest. Yeah, Sin Harvest. And it's funny, because they're like, oh, we got Lance Bass to it. And all he does is do a few fucking battle grunts. He doesn't even have like a, he doesn't even a have major like a line part of, of the story. Yeah, yeah I like, feel like when he dies, he just dies, and he doesn't actually say anything. Well, like, the Cloud and Sephiroth fight in Kingdom Hearts 2 is, like, kind of important. Like, Cloud is, like, hunting Sephiroth and shit throughout the game. I don't know, I, I kind of like that part of the game. Um, I kind of like how it's Advent Children Cloud and not Old Cloud. But I did really, 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 really like the redesign of Cloud in uh, Kingdom Hearts 1. thought it was fucking cool. Yeah, Sacred Scheme, Lance Bass was Sephiroth in the first game. And, um, who the fuck was it? The other, the other singer, the other blonde singer chick was Eris. Mandy Moore? Mandy Moore! Wasn't she Rapunzel? Yes, she was Rapunzel. She did a terrible job as Eris, too. You think so? She's pretty good as... There's some there's some pretty flat-ass lines of dialogue. It's kind of phoned <laughs> into fuck. Um, the, she did a great job in Tangled, because it probably paid way more. But, yeah. Yuffie was also somebody kind of uh, popular, too, from what I remember. Yeah, the Thousand Heartless battle, which is like in the middle of the... Uh, Man, there is a fucking game that were just reminded me of. So the Thousand Heartless Battle in Kingdom Hearts 2, which was originally on PS2, yeah. was very similar to another fight that was in another PS2 game, which was just this giant fucking war of just killing all these things. And um, it was Zone of the Enders' second runner. There's a game There's a game we should definitely play. Not Zone of the Enders, but Zoe 2 is... Zone of the Ender 1 mm. is just pure fucking Evangelion. Zoe 1 is also not that much fun. Yeah. Um, it's it's a good idea, but then Zoe 2 is like, okay, this is how the game should be. I love the music to those games. Oh, it's just so good. There's something that I would love that those guys to make. Why don't you give us a cool fucking robot game again? Why isn't Platinum making Zone of Anderson 3? Why aren't they? Why aren't they? <laughs> Mitch Ikeda totally called it. Zoe 1 was, was memorable, but not fun. Like, not great. I do love a lot of the designs and art and music, but it's not that great of a game. Zoe 2 is fuck. I, I have fond memories of that game. There's a game that I should probably find out a way to play sometime is, uh, yeah, Dissidia. Never really understood how to play this again. Wanna... Maybe the stream can answer this. Do they work on Vita? The city? Yeah. I oh, know it does. Can you buy it? Fire a fire hazard! Thank you so much, dude. Can I can you buy it digitally from the PSN store to play on Vita. Oh, so you're talking about PlayStation TV? Yes, I am. Guys, yeah, yeah, give yeah. me an update. Can we can we play the Dissidia games? Well, I don't know if there's multiplayer. No, maybe not. Well, if there is. Could we problem. fight each other? It'd be cross screen. It'd be bullshit. Well, Steam has a fucking. Yeah, Red, I beat Sephiroth in Kingdom Hearts 2. I, I didn't 100% beat Sephiroth. Jack has a PSP, and, and the other Steve has a PSP. Well, that's true. Game. We could play one player on PSP and one player. Wow, that'd actually make for a great stream if we played the Dissidia games. Holy fuck. They're kind of like impossible. Bohemian Milk is like, you can do exactly that, Simmons. Maybe that may be the one reason. Actually. Impossible, but. I don't think Vita TVs are that much. Well, so we, we can get a Vita TV which allows us to play Vita slash PSP games, but we can't play Vita slash PSP games on the PlayStation 3 or the PS4. Right? Is that how it works? Yeah. So if we have, let me know guys, if we have a PS4 slash PS3, can we not play a Dissidia game? No, you can't. No, nah, I guess that would make sense. Well, that'd be a great thing to spend donation money on. Probably, you know? I, I'd pro that'd be worth it just to have a Dissidia dedicated stream. Tell me this, guys. Does it upscale the graphics to something of better fidelity? What's the Sonic end of the draw of a PlayStation TV is that, um... You can play Vita games and PSP games and PlayStation 1 old games and stuff like that on your TV. In a small PSP screen? Uh, <laughs> they're saying it upscales to 720. Maybe. Hmm. 
Oh, I, I actually have a, an adapter device that can stream the signal of a PSP to a TV. Um, which would be pretty cool for War of the Lions if I ever wanted to play that for maybe one or two episodes. Yeah, there's a game that won't work. Yeah, there's a game that's a fucking... I love Final Fantasy Tactics. I love it to death. I've played it so many fucking times. Terrible game to just stream the whole fucking thing. Unless you're, like, speedrunning it. Yeah, Vera, Vera Lucas, Vera Lucius, um, pretty much says that he's like, the city is a really interesting game to watch, but not that much fun to play. <laughs> so it's like it most, looks like that. To so be it's honest. most like most Square Enix games. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I would. I would flip my flip my shits and slap my dicks if if Final Fantasy actually <laughs> got like a fighting game that wasn't the city that was more traditional. Jesus, man! If it wasn't just this stupid floating air combat shit. Do you mind? I don't like Psychic Force. <laughs> Man, I can't. Even, I don't remember Psychic Force ever being good. How about <laughs> how about Evil on Zone? Evil Cast? Zone, bring it up. Evil Zone. We need to get Burning this Fest. Goofy ass, ass fucking burning, what? burning Fest. The only way, the only like 3D <laughs> space <laughs> arena, no Burning Fest, space arena PS1. like multi-platform fighting games that Super ever worked was yeah, Virtual Lawn and the Gundam games. I think I had that, that variable Geo. Oh, yeah. oh, the Naruto games are good too. We don't know That's shit true. about Naruto though. We don't. We don't dick about Naruto or Dragon Ball, so I've never played those games before, man. We can play Variable Geo on the Saturn. The game's not that great. Yeah, the characters have not aged well. Yeah, you get the you get the full on nudity on the Saturn version. I don't know if you actually looked it up. I don't think you do. Yes, you do. Only in Saturn one. I don't think you do. Yeah, you do. I don't think you do. You do. I don't think you do. I'm telling you, you do. Until I see it, I don't think you do. All right, well, we can. Well. That's exactly why we can't stream it. That's another great <laughs> example of a game that would be I, I would love to play sometime, but might not be the best to stream is Chrono Trigger. Chrono, Chrono Trigger so good, Max. They were, Chrono Trigger so good. I only played the first like ten hours and I didn't yeah. finish it. Ugh. Chrono Trigger so good. Well, Secret of Mana was before my time. Secret of Mana is an action RPG and it's two player. Actually, it's three player, I think. Kind of like Tales of Destiny. More, no, more like Zelda-ish, no. but more beat 'em up No, I've really never played a Dissidia game, J for Gamers. Although Jessica owns, uh, she's a big Final Fantasy VII fan as well, because of me. Um, Jessica owns the really rare limited edition Final Fantasy VII PSP that came out in Japan only, and she's barely ever used it. I think she still has that. So Xander Cook, I'll tell you something, I'll tell you something. Um, Mentioning Sega Saturn Saturdays. Sega Saturn Saturdays is kind of in the same boat as Retro Coach, with a lot of folks asking if they want to, for us to bring it back. Sega Saturn Saturdays, we covered a lot of the games that we wanted to cover. Um, quite a few of the games that we were just going to play, and some new games like Bug, we never really played before. I mean, we, we just gave that a shot. Clockwork Night, I liked back in the day. We just tried it. But a lot of the games that we really liked on Sega Saturn, kind of covered a lot of them in Sega Saturn Saturdays. And, uh... The same thing for Retro Coach. We kind of played all the games, well, the majority of games that um, someone else had played and had not played before, and I had played or he had played, and shared that. Quite a few. Well, I'll be honest, there's a lot of Sega Saturn Day episodes I'd like to do. It might be something I try to do next year for on your video games. I'm kind of more on my own. Totally can. I think I think that's the best platform for it now. It's kind of like this sort of fighting history, but for Sega Saturn Saturdays. It's the same idea. Yeah. I'm gonna, cause there's, there's definitely some f funny ideas I have for, um, funny ideas I have for some some games, like to do like a skit for it. Yeah. And, um, I think I'll probably try to do them, actually. Uh, AO Blue, I think the, the graphics for Guilty Gear X are to fit great for a Street Fighter Alpha style game. It'd be pretty good. 